Welcome to this MuseScore tutorial on viewing the score. Whenever you have multiple instruments or long scores or need to split your screen to view multiple files like this, viewing the score can get pretty frustrating. The main thing that we that most beginners do is clicking on an empty space and dragging the score around. But as you can see, I can't see very much. It's very intuitive, but it's not very easy to work with. And it's very easy to click and drag something and move it by mistake. So we don't want to do that. The first way we can get around this is by using the mouse wheel. Just the mouse wheel on its own moves up and down. And shift and the mouse wheel moves from left to right. That's already a big help, but it can be really frustrating, uh, especially using these pages and you're not sure how many systems will be on one stave depending on how many instruments you have. Uh, and it may change depending on the page. So you could be moving around a lot looking for your music. And we don't want to be doing that. We want to just have uh, a streamlined way of working with this program. One thing that could help is to remove the inspector while you're not needing it. So if you're still, for instance, arranging or orchestrating or composing, it's unlikely that you'll need the inspector, which is really just for changing very tiny details about uh, our score. So I can get rid of it by either clicking on the X or going to the View menu and Inspector. Now that helps a bit. We can see where the next page is and those type of things. However, if you're looking at a score like this, you may be in that final um, final stage before you print, and so you'll need the Inspector back again. Again, just View Inspector or F8, the shortcut. I'm going to leave that off for now. Another way to view the score is with the Navigator. So again, View and Navigator. This brings up this rather tiny little thing at the bottom, which we can resize as we want. And now it gives us a, a little thumbnail view of each page. And we can jump to wherever we want to be at any time, which can be useful equally when you're designing um, your score, particularly for printing. I'm going to turn that off again for now because there are other ways. And the biggest one is this box up here. Currently, we are in page view. I'm going to go to a single page, and that means that everything is now on one page, one infinitely long page going down, which means I never have to use that shift and scroll wheel, uh, and so that can be useful for beginners as well. We do still have, you know, the music ends there and then comes onto this side, which we're not, uh, which we're not averse to. Musicians are very used to reading like that, but it can get quite confusing if these systems are a bit close maybe, and we start viewing uh, the whole thing as one system. It, it can get a little odd. We're looking for bar numbers here. So there is an even easier way while we're working with the arranging transfer, uh, with the arranging or composition or orchestration, and that is to go to continuous view. And now we have one long page going left to right. And this, you can see, I'm instinctively using my mouse to scroll along because it just feels comfortable and it works. But equally, the shift and scroll wheel now moves us along very nicely. If I need to zoom in, I can use control and the mouse wheel. So I can really get close, move the mouse wheel up and down to go up and down. We can always see what instrument and what key signature we have, which is uh, and time signature, which is incredibly useful. Uh, and then I can just move along the stave, along the staves with shift and scroll wheel, or up and down to different instruments. Uh, and so this really makes things much easier and much quicker to work with. However, of course, once we are done printing, or once we're ready to print, we are going to have to come back to the page view to see how this whole thing will look uh, and fix any errors, you know, page turns that are just wrong or weird, or maybe we're using too many pages and we want to reduce the score a little bit. This is a matter of preference, but be prepared to switch views depending on what you're currently working on in your score. And that's viewing in MuseScore.